Hi everyone, welcome back to the session. So in this session, before starting this session, we will get a overview of review session. So we have learned about uh, asynchronous functions and also what are the core modules, custom modules and also NPM modules. And after that we have learned about what is JSON handling and uh, how are we doing that JSON handling in a programmatical way. And what we are done is how we are using it in custom like uh, complex folders json handling also we have learned about it and the custom modules inside that custom modules we have created two custom modules that is one is calculated.json where it's a calculation of the things and everything uh, and everything is another one is logger.json we're logging the basics and everything stuff so in this session we will learn about further concepts in node.js which are very important and uh, for uh, security purpose and also very easy and also important so in node.js is a server right so we will in the security point of view from the development development we can do two things first of all is password encryption and second one is JWT tokens means JSON web tokens so I will tell you what is password encryption and also JSON web tokens so that for example you are a user and you are creating one account in a Facebook or Instagram anywhere okay once you enter the data and once you uh, password and confirm password do you think that that password will be saved in the db as the same for example uh, your name is hari and you have entered the password like hari at the rate one two three four and do you think that password will be uh, say uh, means entered into the database like the same no right if you think it's like that it's a wrong thing because in security point of view from the development we will change that password into hashed password means hashed password is nothing but complex password means a special characters and add in everything so that that hashed password will and means the current password will encrypt into the hashed password encryption means using the co binary codes and all the stuff so we are using it here converting the uh, real password what we have entered into the storing database uh, in the form of hashed password why because the, like that because in case in worst case scenario also if the db is hacked or else if the data is leaked to outside your password will be the safe if it is in a hashed format so that for example if with the db uh, for like uh, for example uh, any cyber attack has happened or else the app is crashed or anywhere any website you have used or for example uh, the credit card details you are using entering into any website that everything will be saved in a data in a form of hashed format so that whenever the website is hacked or else anything it won't mostly it will use for encryption in, in the encryption format so that our privacy will not disturb that's the main thing why we will use encryption simply pa password encryption so we can encrypt anything but we are saying here password encryption because mostly the password is the main thing the word itself will says that is a secrecy so here we will use the password encryption for that let's create a word uh, file encryption.js where we will create a logic here how to pass encrypt the password okay so before encrypting the password we need a external node module which is called as bcrypt okay bcrypt is a npm module we need it to uh, install in our machine so that it will be like a what custom module which will in encrypt the password which we are given how we have the custom module uh, calculator or else some uh, logger like that only encrypt uh, bcrypt is a module 
which is created by the npm company or npm uh, package module node package managers in that one so that they will recheck the password and everything testing purpose and everything is done they will release it that's how it is an uh, how see for example if you create any app if you want to release it in the local how will you release it play store we have in google play store or else app store in the iphones same like that this is npm package manager where this is a store for all the packages which are custom modules which we can also create and we can also give deploy in that npm okay that is how what is that uh, npm so let's create uh, install that one be crypt be crypt npm okay so it's a user for notice less version so what is the version is 5.11 and it's a size of one triple k and product is 26 and these are the versions with the node versions and who have created all that if this package and everything will be discussed shown here and what is the compatibility and everything they will show it so let's install it so paste install so once you install you can see in package.json you will get bcrypt and uh, this is json which i installed previously uh, and this is in once you can see here in package.json also you will get it so now let's go for the programming logic what we have to do for brick uh, encrypting the password so let's go constant bcrypt equal to require bcrypt okay that is the thing first we have to use then constant salt rounds salt rounds is nothing but uh, the number of rounds where it will use for uh, for if you want more complex password so that number is directly proportional to complexity okay so salt rounds will be taking for the bcrypt so based on that it will do it so here is the function for hash password so control x need it here okay what we can use we can use async await here so that asynchronous flow also will be using here so async hash password with a name password where i will get a data and i will use the try block inside the try what i'll use constant hash equal to it will await await bcrypt so that it will await until the bcrypt is converting the hash of password which we are entering from here so along with that it will take arguments of salt round so that the complexity of the password will increase with that so now once the hash is created we will return it return the hash okay for example if it is not hash we can use throw new error error dot message okay or else we can give simple of error dot message we'll give hashing password is failed so that you will get it where you a -E so that you will get it where we have to do it and everything so this is the function and this function is the generalized hashing password so where i can use so first of all i have to get the data so i will get as a constant plain password 
which is uh, oh, equal to I have given Hari at the rate one two three four. Okay, that is the password which is coming from the front end, which while sending it. So I will use hash password. I'll use here like this and okay. Terminology will be nice. So what you are using plain password as an argument. So we are sending the plain password in the function. Then it will what it will do. So it will take dot then and what it will do hash which is coming from there. We will do it here. <coughs> Console dot log of the Azure password is hash. So <coughs> what is the hash here? The password. The password is this one, and that is the hash. That returning is we are using it here as a hash. We can use anything, but here you are using as a hash value. That value we will show it here. Or else dot catch error console dot log of error okay so let's go uh, clear it and run node encrypt encrypt encryption dot js and entered somewhere the error is there node modules i think throw somewhere throw error is there let's check bcrypt is there require bcrypt salt rounds is done using hash password and passing the hash and try hash with the bcrypt of the hash and we are sending it and now we are returning the hash once we return the hash or else we have to catch the error and hash password is failed and here plain password with what is the password and I am sending it then it is a dot then where in the then I am sending the hash where inside the hash let me give a space to avoid me this where I am using console.log of else or else dot catch with error equal to console.log of error okay everything is looks fine module not found somewhere have we written Oh, here we have written wrong. B C R Y. Let me copy here and write. It's better. So B C R Y. And that B C R Y we are using here. That's why we are getting not till not mode phone. But everything is looks fine from my side. Why we are getting throw error? Is the process of npm install? VCR by PDB crypt so it's installed successfully so we are getting the package.json also maybe at the rate we are not giving here in the hash of module no it's showing one stack training not this file name Somewhere we are using module not found with 2849. What is the 2849? Nothing we have. ENCR. Okay, the file name is not there. File name is wrong. ENCR. 
ption.js that is the mistake my bad so see the hash password is generating with the password of this one even though if you given as one two three and you're getting it the data with the hash password for example if you given a staging result as one salt round you will get as a normal D password which is somewhat not complexity okay that is the only difference nothing more the difference here it will be because it's an encrypted only so even though it's an hack it won't be getting and this is what we call as hash password so this is the thing uh, means hash password now let's go with the json web tokens uh, same same json web tokens is nothing but uh, for example uh, see i'll tell you a scenario for example um, i'll use netflix see i am doing sign in okay here it will show sign in and if i go back and uh, like uh, remove it means uh, after some time it will be signed out right after signed out and again coming into sign in it will check whether you are the one or not how it will check with the help of username and password right or else uh, let me go with the sign in of any other thing for example what else i have sign in GitHub, I think. GitHub login. Login I will use my GitHub. So this is my GitHub, and I'm logged in. Okay. Now, for example, I'm going to auth dot JSON, and this is the thing. And once I do it, and if I go to incognito mode, and go it here. see it's asking for sign in see even the you you are all same but here it's asking for sign in because every time it will check for the tokens what we are doing it so that that tokens we will check it save it here in the network tab if you can see there is no tokens nothing at all okay once you are sending it data Uh, you will see here with a new URL of all these counts. What we are getting it, everything we have the tokens which is called JSON Web Tokens. So that token we can see here, which is coming from the backend, which is telling the browser that this candidate is a real one. So don't worry, you can log in without any secure means. We you can log in easily. Okay. that is what it's telling nothing more than that as you can see now it will ask for the json web token of the code cookie and all the stuffs so everything will be summing from the json w token so jwt is nothing but json web token tells as a security so that even if you call login any logged in url in other browser it will check the jwt and give the access okay for example i will tell you another example see for example you having the facebook account and if you enter into facebook account and uh, go into your personal photos or else your chat for example it's its url is www.facebook/charts okay that is the url for example so only this charts you will open once you are in logged in then only the chat will be open for example you are, you are logged out or else i am copying your url and i am pasting in my browser or any other google browser in incognito mode anywhere where your login is not saved then if i enter this one it will show 404 page or 
restriction so that only enter uh, jwt will be happen with uh, with the security purpose nothing more than that so that is the main use of jwt we are using it so let's create a syntax of jwt so that you will understand what is that in before that we have to install package for this which is jwt token package that is the package and we'll copy it and paste it and you'll get a package i already done before but i'm showing it it's a version of 9.0.2 see as you can see the version and you got a version now let's create one file with jwt.js so this is the file now let's create constant jwt equal to require jwt token and that jwt we will use anywhere so for that any verification i'll use a secret key I will enter any random text like A B C D E F in this one. This is a secret key where it will be saved in only server. It not be shown in the front end anywhere. So here inside the secret key, I will also use um, data where the sample user data will be there. Sample data coming from the front end. So for example, constant user what we are using it let's create an object it will come anyhow we will get it from the object so idea is one then you'll get as username of that id like admin and password of that id password okay let's assume this is one uh, object where we are getting it so first first we have to generate generate jwt token so first we have to generate the jwt token how we will do it constant generate token equal to we are using the user where the user will get the data and you will use arrow function and parameters after that you will use constant token equal to jwt dot sign where it's a, we are using the user which is coming that and secret key which you will having that one and after that if uh, I will tell why we are using expires in one hour. Uh, expires means, for example, if you logged into your account in Google Gmail or as Facebook, if you left it like that, uh, it will be expired after one hour, whatever giving in the server side. So that if you click on again, uh, refresh the co uh, refresh the same page. It won't refresh because it will check. Uh, it will ask for the front from the front end the data to check it and generate the token. What are we getting it? So return token. So we are returning the token. Now to verify, I will write verify the token. Till now we have written generating the token, right? So to verify the token, I'll use verify only the keyword with the token as a parameters where in the pams we will use try catch block try catch block in the try what we will use constant decoded we will decode the token which we are getting it from the red one so jw2 dot verify So token is a parameter we have to do for verify and also secret key we'll use the parameter. 
so that is how we will do it then once it's done we will return run token which is decoded sorry return the decoded we will do not token my bad so once you got that uh, or else you will do console dot error here we are using error right console of error where token verification failed i will say okay that is the thing i will say if it is failed and what will return if it is failed means what nothing will be there written to to return we have to return null so here you will use example so example for usage so what will use constant gna generated token equal to generate token which is the function and i'm using the user which is created in the data once console dot log of generated token i'll give us the generated token what i am getting from the function logic output once i got it what i'll show i'll use the decoded user so verified user with an verified token generator and use if verified user then i'll use verified user with verified user or else i can use the console with in invalid yeah i think it works see what we are doing is nothing see we are generating the secret key as a backend it's a hard coded one and we are importing the json w jw2 data and this is the data which is coming from user so this is the function and this is the these two functions we will generate here so first thing what will show it will take the user what it will do user as a parameter and it will take the secret key here okay it's taking the user and that it will create a token where token means it's a generating token function which expires in the one hour that's how we will uh, create the token with this function okay then verifying the token how we'll do once the token is created we will pass that token in the verify token function and we will verify with the secret key means with the help of secret key we are generating the token and to verify we are taking the secret key and the generated token to verify it with the jwt which is called decoded once it's verified means with the help of verified we will get a decoded value which we can say uh, console dot log of decoded comma decoded token okay so this is the token which we will get decoded and once it's decoded what we'll do here we will send it and we will verify it see generated token it will be generated token and user it will be there and what is the generated token we will get a token value after that we are getting the value verified user means verify token where generated token we will take it as an input and that input if verified user means if it is a true means the value which is coming from it decoded and it is a true then you will show verified user is verified user or else it will show invalid user that is it nothing more than that so let's uh, go there means first by default we have created two custom modules or you can say or else you can uh, say these are the predefined functions and those functions we are using here that's it so now node jwt.js so again there is an error export is not allowed in the options somewhere we have done export in expires in i think secret key expires in one 
I think it's incorrect only. Concert generate token user then token equal to GW sign user secret key expires in okay syntax wrong expires in okay it's a small in which you pre default on see this is the generated jwt token from the user and it will check the values this is a decoded function means token is created and that token it will take with the user and it will check decoded which we get it decoded value that is the decoded value which we are getting it so once the decoded value get it it should be tallied with the user what we are thinking and once it is everything is done we are making it as a verified as a true so you got a verified is a it's a verified user you will got it here if it is not a verified user we will get another thing which is error so this is the concept like security purpose for development of security from uh, user client side and also server side uh, which are encryption and also jwt so let's uh, continue with the routing in the next session thank you